This banner has given me some like real crippling depression, but it's it's time to move on, guys. Welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about the rotating recruitment banner. I swear on my mom, there is another R in there. But essentially, what we have is a new recruitment banner. Actually, you know what? Let me get it up in the big form. So here we go. For the six star, we've got Gabrielle. For the five stars, we have Pact and we have Barton. And on top of that, whilst we're here, let's actually talk a little bit more about the upcoming updates. So we have the, I believe, chapter nine becomes coming release very very soon this bad boy is coming out in about two days it is going to be the next installment in our story and so get hyped guys and so that's all well and cool and so just some predictions on this one i think that the stamina cost is going to go up for the stages what some people in the community have noticed is that there is kind of like a pattern in terms of the episodes and the stamina cost so for example the later stages episode 8 and 7 they cost 24 stamina and then the ones before that 5 and 6 cost 18 stamina something like that and then i believe it goes to 12 and then i believe it goes to 6 just something like that right but like every two episodes the stamina cost increases and so what i think is going to happen is that when episode 9 comes out we're going to have a stamina increase up to 30 and so every stage is going to cost 30 stamina however i am hoping that we're going to be able to get those purple drops the t4 ascension materials at a better rate than what we're getting now so i'm just talking about these guys down here five potion threes i think i well i don't think that we're going to be getting an ascension four and so because i don't think we're going to be getting an ascension four the only thing that they could possibly do is like up the rates of these fire potions or like these t4 purple materials and so that's definitely speculation however it is not like exactly baseless speculation right now it is following a pattern we are just observing it and then extrapolating it on the other hand they might just keep the stamina cost at 24 for stage 9 or rather episode 9 and then everything is just going to be the same right like so we're going to still have like about that 33 percent drop rate for these t4 materials and so that's kind of the first speculation honestly i reckon it could go either way 24 stamina with the exact same drops as the previous stage in episode 8 or 30 stamina hopefully for increased rates for these guys over here this time i'm gonna be a little bit spicy i'm gonna wager on these fire potions or these t4 materials getting an increased drop rate with 30 stamina you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below because it's always fun like comparing our little uh, little analysis or bets However, with that being said, let's move on back to this guy over here. So this was like the main reason for this video. And the main reason is that we're kind of starting to see a major trend in these guys over here. And so whilst we already know the Gabriel packed Barton banner, we can also kind of infer for the next one. On top of that, there have been some rumors in the community, in the discords, you know what I'm saying? And like, there are some possibilities for the next banner being tossed around. However, before we get there, let's talk about this banner itself just really briefly and then about this reduced duration. Gabrielle, Raphael, Uriel. Me personally, of the four angels, I reckon three of them are kind of like a win harder or you got to wail a little bit to make them work really well. For me personally, I think Gabrielle and Uriel can be kind of like grouped into the same one, which is like the win harder but also once you get the first breakthrough the gameplay completely changes and so guys this is just a quick look at each of their skills so we've got the spring breeze which is the active skill and so converts tile with one selected element out of blue red and yellow aka not green to another element while retaining the tile's enhanced stats and so to me personally and uriel this also applies for the breakthrough three is where this gets really really freaking dank because breakthrough three unlocks the preemptive of the active skill and so what this means is that you can start doing like some resetting for like an optimal board that is honestly like really freaking nutty obviously i think gabriel has a little bit more reliability than uriel especially because uriel is on like the tile by tile whereas gabriel is kind of like a one element and it's all going to go to one color i think gabriel is really good i don't think she is like core or critical to the team unless you get up to like the extremes in the spires or like the elysium me personally i have not even gotten up that far i'm pretty sure i'm still at like 69 on my highest spire but yeah you can really see where the these Gabriels or these Ural dupes, the first dupe can really unlock some crazy strats. However, again, dependent on RNG. So yeah, this is pretty good. Gabrielle herself is pretty good. I'm pretty sure you guys can read all through all of this and be like, oh yeah, she's good. She's not good. In a nutshell, in summary, I would say do your tenor. Me personally, I think there are way more higher priority targets like Michael, which is on the current RRR, Sharona, Icy, Gronru, any of the four tile converters, Sariel, a lot of the big DPSs, Midgard, which has already passed. We've got Caron, we've got Sensa. I think Carleen is another big one. I don't think Gabrielle, I don't think Raphael, I don't think Uriel are really big mass role fours. Again, at this stage of the game, they kind of like win really hard or you need them for harder content. But with that being said, if you are pushing for that harder content, then you're 
you're probably going to want the BT3 Gabrielle. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Gabrielle. And like Gabrielle, remember last banner was Michael. This is going to come into the speculation very, very soon. I'm just going to quickly go through these two because they also technically contribute to the speculation. We've got Pact. Pact is the four tile converter at the five stars. And then if you think back previously, we had Beverly, which is also the five star tile converter. Now, if you think back before Beverly, we had Klecken, who is also a four tile converter for water. Water, Thunder, we have Forest now. So I think the next one is going to be the Fire Converter, Faust. In my opinion, with almost 100% certainty, Faust is probably going to be the next five star or one of the next five star units on the Triple R banner. Now, as for whether you should roll for Pact or not, yeah, I think Pact, I think all of these four tile converters, they are all so necessary in your teams, especially for general play for like moderate tempos where you're not looking for massive spikes like we were in Endgame. And to be honest, they do contribute to those strategies because they are setting up for it with the conversions. But yeah, anyway, like they're all freaking good. Like at worst, look at Pact, like she's a freaking waifu, dude. But yeah, that's it for Pact. Let's talk about Bart and Last. Now, what Endgame has kind of taught us is that cross converters are pretty insane, especially at MBT max breakthrough, right? Now, I don't know if this holds true for Water and for Barton because like there is a lot less, I guess, one shot impact or one shot potential. I personally did use it with Regal. I thought it was great. And so I would recommend getting Barton. And so with all of that being said, before we get into the speculations, should you go in on this banner? Yes, you're going to want to put in the 10 rolls for Pact or Barton or whichever five star you get. But in my opinion, unless you're going for like the high level Elysiums or like the high level Spires, I think Gabrielle is an easy pass. On the other hand, if you do have one copy of Gabrielle, you could consider going for the Breakthrough 3. But even then, in my opinion, there are probably a lot of other higher priority targets. All right, so let's get back into speculation territory. So I said that Pact is probably going to be Faust next RRR. And so by that logic, who would be the next six star? If we've had Michael and then we've had Gabrielle now, I think the next one is going to be Raphael. I think that's a pretty easy trend to spot. I think they're just going through the Angels. I think before the Angels, they were doing like a whole bunch of the Illumina Federation characters. So I'm talking Midgard, I'm talking Sharona. And so again, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. I don't know about Uriel. I think this one is still up for discussion. Uriel was on rate up at the very start of the game. And to be honest, there have been so many other characters that have not gotten any like rate up time. So we've still got like the Charons, you've got the Jonas, you've got the Connollys, you've got, the, there are a whole bunch of characters that still have not gone on rate up. And so it's for this reason that I think after Raphael, I, I'm pretty convinced that the next one's going to be Raphael. I don't think we're going to be seeing Uriel for a while. Okay, so in that case, we have Raphael, we have Faust over here. And so who could be last? And so I don't think there have been any trends for this one over here. So I think the last ones were like uh, Barbara. And then we also had Luis and those two are supports. But then we have Barton over here, who is a cross converter. I think the last time that we had a cross converter was Sikare on like one of the very, very first rotating banners. So to be honest, Barton has thrown me off and I'm not really sure what is coming next. However, I will tell you what the community thinks. And like generally speaking, I think they think it's going to be Noah. I have no idea where that logic came from. Maybe you can look at it as like they're pushing out the supports right now. You had Luis, you had uh, Barbara. And honestly, I think Noah has not had too much screen time. And so it, you know, it kind of makes sense, I guess. And so that's kind of like the summary for this one over here. Raphael, Faust, and Noah, question mark. Yeah, to me, the Noah kind of makes sense, but like I wouldn't have thought of it if I did not look into the community. And so yeah, with a little bit of logic, we can kind of make some speculations, some predictions about the upcoming Triple R banners. And so guys, secret question, do you guys agree with this assessment? Do you think that this is probably going to be how it plays out? Again, I look at the Noah and I'm like, well, I don't really see the logic for that, but I'm gonna roll with it. But for me personally, I think the Raphael and the Faust is kind of indisputable. I think the Noah is still kind of up for discussion. And so let me know what you think about those predictions down in the comments below. And I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, you know the drill. Please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. But otherwise, as an angel named Gabriel once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.